What's up guys? Welcome back to another Diesel Dog Garage video. Beautiful Sunday morning here in Southern Illinois. It's about 42 degrees out in the shed. Doing a little bit of work out here. Thought I'd do this little video. Another coffee time. This past week me and a couple of guys were talking about our worst injuries as a mechanic. Uh, them as diesel mechanics, me as automotive mechanic and diesel mechanic because I've switched fields. Anywho, uh, I've got some pretty good ones under my belt, so I thought I'd do a video and talk about them. It's come to my attention that a lot of you guys following me are in school or are gonna about to be going into the trade. And uh, I don't know, just talking about certain stuff like this, injuries are to be expected. And uh, it's kind of fun to talk about what actually <laughs> ends up happening to you. So these are my five top injuries as a automotive mechanic and diesel mechanic. Coming in at number five is gonna be three separate injuries I'm just gonna put into one. On three separate occasions, I've had to pull shards of metal out of my body with uh, needle nose pliers or tweezers. The first time went into my belly. Um, I was actually get, trying to get a carrier bearing off of a drive shaft off a semi truck and uh, my air hammer bit broke into pieces. One of them went through my shirts, my two shirts, it was winter. Uh, went through my shirts, into my belly. I felt it jump up and bite me. Kind of figured what happened right away. I pulled my shirt up and I just had a trickle of blood coming down and uh, wiped it off. Wasn't going away, figured I had metal in there. Took a magnet and sure enough, I could stick the magnet on there and it would stay stuck to my belly. Uh, so that one I was able to get out with tweezers. It's going to get a little graphic here, but, you know, had to get it in there. I had to kind of get a grip on it and wiggle it around. I finally was able to pull it out and you could visibly see the shard of metal on the tweezers. I had just yanked out of my belly. Cleaned it up, put a band-aid on it, went back to work, changed the carrier bearing, went about my day. Now I've got a little scar right here on my belly to always remind me to wear my safety glasses. The second shard went into my hand, same thing. Uh, the bit broke, jumped up, bit me. It already happened once, kind of figured what happened. I could kind of feel it, like the pressure inside my hand. Uh, it kind of went right up in between my fingers here, right in between the calluses and uh, blood coming out. That one wasn't as bad, I still had to dig it out. Uh, ended up having to get needle nose pliers to do that when I was able to get it out of there and that shard wasn't as big but still uh, hurt pretty good and it was sore and was probably on the verge of getting infected for a while but I was able to clean it up and you know now I don't I don't even have a scar there. The third time a little bit scarier uh, actually jumped up through the bottom of my lip into the middle of my lip and uh, this one was the same thing it was with an air hammer but it was actually the bit of I think it was on a bearing I think I was getting trying to get a bearing off uh, and I was using my air hammer bit. Anywho, so I was do -do 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 -do. felt it jump up, hit my lip. Thought maybe it just nicked it, uh, but I could feel the pressure up in the middle of my lip every time I went like this. I could feel something in there. So I did the old magnet test. Sure enough, the magnet would pull my lip in and out. I had a piece of metal in there. I uh, had to dig that one out with the tweezers. That one probably took about an hour to get out, and it hurt profusely. Uh, my eyes were watering. I couldn't see what I was doing in the mirror. I had to keep trying to refine it with the magnet and try to dig it out of there. And finally, I ended up getting it. And uh, you could just feel the relief as soon as I got it out. Blood, you know, all the good stuff. Uh, cleaned it up. Not much you can do for your lips. I can put really put a Band-Aid there. I don't even have a scar. Uh, I don't feel like anything, but uh, definitely hurt. And I was kind of scared. I thought I was going to have to go to the ER for that one. Number four, worst injury involved stitches when I was in automotive. Pulling off an old chrome rim off a car, didn't realize on the inside lip the, the chrome was peeling. So I took it off, put it on the ground, was uh, wheeling it over to the tire machine through my hands like this, and that chrome sliver came up and sliced my finger. Uh, I do have a pretty good scar right there, you can see, uh, probably about an inch long. I had to go get stitches for that one. Uh, that one hurt pretty good. The worst part about this was they could only really put like a stitch here and a, maybe two stitches there. I can't remember. But they couldn't put it on the bend. Uh, it took a while for it to heal just because I kept breaking it open, trying to work still, and it was just a mess. Uh, it was a long process. Now I got a pretty good scar there, probably because it kept breaking open. 
Um, but that was one of two times I've had to get stitches while in the field. Which brings me to number three. The second time I had to get stitches was in my forehead. This is why you always wear safety glasses, because this was early on in my career. And at the time I was not wearing safety glasses and it could have been a lot worse. I was doing ball joints on a Chevy. If you know, if you've done ball joints on an older Chevy, you know the top ball joint is riveted on. Uh, so I had air hammered the tops of the rivets off. I usually use a flat bit and just da -da 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 knock them off. Uh, and then you can try to punch those rivets down through. If they won't go through, then you can try to wedge a flat chisel in the bottom of them and, and I'll and hammer it and it's that flat chisel will be tapered. So as you hammer it in, it'll separate it from there. Just the way I do it. There's several different ways you can do it. Anyways, the time that's what I was doing and it wasn't going. So I just started hitting it harder and somehow that thing ricocheted out of there, like went backwards slam me right in the forehead and it was it's one of the bigger chisels so it was a pretty heavy chisel got me right in the forehead immediately felt it and uh just that quick as soon as i felt it i went oh man and just blood started coming down off my forehead all into my hands so i had to go wash up every time i try to wash up my forehead blood just kept coming down into my eye i uh, had to go get stitched up and uh you know, I've, I tried avoiding the stitches, but I went to my boss. I was like, do you need, think I need stitches? He's like, yeah, let's go. You need to get that stitched up. So we went and got it stitched up. People started calling me Chiselhead and giving me nicknames and stuff. But I, at the time, I was probably 20. I might not have even been 21. Uh, 32 now, so it's been a long time. I don't really have a scar. You can kind of see it every once in a while. I'll, like, shrug or, like, do something weird. Uh, you can kind of see like the skin shrivels up a little bit right there. It's not like a really visible scar, but uh, needless to say that uh, that was kind of scary. So goes to show you should be always wearing your safety glasses because I was not wearing them. And had that gone like two inches down, that would have been my eyeball. I probably would have lost it. So that's bringing us into number two. Worst injury involved a hammer in my thumb. And uh, I didn't really smash the thumb, which I've, you know, I've done. I've gotten plenty of the digits with the hammer. I actually pinched the skin between what I was hammering on and the hammer and it tore the skin off the side. It went pretty much all the way down to the bone. I'm pretty sure I saw the bone because it was just like a flap. As it stopped bleeding so much, the more I could look down in it, I could see exactly how deep it went. And uh, it was pretty deep. I should have gone and got stitched up. Uh, but I didn't want to. I just didn't want to go through the hassle. I figured if I laid it back over, it would heal up, which it did. But it's like, I can feel a ball in there. Like the skin is just balled up and I got a pretty good U-shaped scar there. And uh, that took a while to heal too. That was probably the most painful like cut because it wasn't really a cut. It was a tear, tore the skin off. And uh, yeah, just, I... Well, I'll probably always remember that feeling, just getting it. I knew exactly what happened, blood, washing it off, flap of skin, just, all right, just I'll slap it back over and let it heal up. But um, really, if, looking back now, I should have gone, gone, got stitched up. If it would have gotten infected, it probably would have been pretty bad infected because how deep it was. Uh, but I mean, it is what it is, it's healed up now. So my number one injury, I think, was when I was in automotive, I was doing an alignment on a pickup truck that had a winch on the front. It had a big old custom bumper with a winch on it, hung like two feet off the front of the truck. Uh, it was a nice setup. I was doing alignment on it, on the alignment rack, had the alignment rack probably like five foot off the ground, four foot off the ground or some of it. It was to where I could crouch on my knees and do some stuff. I didn't have it all the way up in the air. Anywho, I was coming out from underneath the truck and just in a hurry, wasn't paying attention, stood straight up into that winch, the bottom of the winch, got it on the top of my head, knocked me out. I was basically coming to as I was falling onto my knees. I remember walking out from underneath the truck, and then I remember like waking up as my knees were basically just limp, and I fell to my knees and I was like, what? Rode my head, had blood, looked down, blood onto the ground, got it pretty good right on the top. I don't know if I have a scar, I don't really see anything when I buzz my head or anything, but got it pretty freaking good and uh yeah that rung my bell pretty good had a headache for like two days probably had a concussion obviously i was knocked out so i'm sure that was a concussion but i was young and tough 
and uh, not too worried about it. But I looked back and I was like, that probably should have gone and got checked out at the doctor's, but I didn't. I don't think I even told my boss I had gotten knocked out. I just dealt with it and just like took some ibuprofen <laughs> the next couple of days. And uh, But that was probably the scariest, just waking up, basically going down to the ground, knocking myself out. And uh, could have been a lot worse. I had been by myself, knock myself out, fall to the ground, could have hit my head on the concrete. Uh, it just could have been a lot worse. Kind of just maybe not the most brutal as far as like digging metal out of your skin or you know having to get stitches or anything, but probably the scariest. So for me, that's my number one injury just because of the potential of what it could have been. And it's not every day you knock yourself out working on cars so that's my top five injuries i've gotten out in the field if any of you guys are in the trades or in the automotive industry or in the diesel industry you can probably relate let me know in the comments your worst injuries as a mechanic in the field i'm sure there's a lot of guys that got a lot worse injuries than i do this is my five worst injuries i'm not saying this is worse than anyone else's guys are missing digits they've broken fingers i've saw one guy tear his whole knuckle up to where he was like he's like talking with his knuckle i was like bro what are you doing so yeah i mean it's 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 inevitable you gotta deal tolerate pain you gotta deal with pain and it's just a matter of time before you get injured yourself uh, no one goes without injury if you're working in any trade especially as a diesel mechanic or you know an automotive mechanic so anywho, I hope you enjoy this video, just a little coffee talk video, a little filler video, uh, spark some conversation. Let me know in the comments, like I said, your worst injuries, uh, curious to hear. And uh, we just hit 4,000 subscribers, so thanks everyone that's watching my videos and subscribing. It's pretty freaking cool. I remember when I had like 37 subscribers and I was like bragging my wife. I'm like, I, I'm almost a 40. I'm almost a 40. Now 4,000 is it's pretty humbling and it's pretty awesome. I want to keep it going, keep doing stuff. Uh, so like, share, subscribe, and uh, appreciate all you guys. Cheers.